guys, today we're going to open some packs, we'll do some uh, card analysis. I'm not going to tell you what cards to buy, but I will tell you like a little bit about like what cards have been doing good and what cards have not been doing good recently. Let's talk about this deck. Uh, this is one of, let's go to the deck tech first. Um, this is the deck I'm currently playing with. Ultimate Price, uh, Zergo. This is my sideboard. Ro Roast is very, very good against the current meta, but it's only a sideboard card. Uh, Hall Triumph is really good against uh, that card that does one damage. I think Circle of Flames kind of beats this deck, uh, at least initially. Murder's Cuts is incredible for this deck because it always comes down for one at instant speed. And now we get into the main deck. Is that a sideboard? Is that 15? Let's see. Five. Oh no, and the two, uh, two uh, great revels are the uh, sideboard as well. So that's the sideboard. Here is the main board. You got the Dragon Lord Servants, so you don't start off at one, you start off at two. So you're not in aggro, you're not a very fast aggro deck, you're just, you know, a dragon deck. Draconic Roar, a uh, very good card. Dragon Fodder, I mean this card, every every card has a dragon in its name, right? Minus this one. When this card rotates out, I'm gonna be extremely sad, but he is the card that you want to see. Goblin Rabble Master. So you have four of those, everything is in four ofs, except for the next few. Four Dragon Fodder, four Draconic. Uh, Draconic is very, very powerful. It is so good in this deck, um, just fun to play with. And now you have some combination of this. I haven't really figured it out. Foul Tongue Invocation, very good against the aggro builds, gains you four life, they lose a creature. But at the same time, like the creature they lose is like a goblin. But then when you play against like a Dragon Lord or Jute, then it's a blowout. Kologon's Command has gone up recently. This card is not no longer the cheap card it used to be. I use it mainly for the two damage to a creature and then to return something to my hand. Uh, maybe a Dragon Lord Servant would be very good. And that actually happens a lot. Dragon Lord Servant, by the way, is the best card in the deck. It just does work. It does an incredible amount of work against uh, various other cards, uh, goblin decks in particular. Uh, any aggro build, it does a great amount of work against because it has a good body. It's a one free. So it kills these tokens, it survives, and it does more. Uh, next, the outburst. Again, if we have a goblin lord that gives these dudes plus one, plus one, and has like some goblinly effect, yeah, that would be pretty good. Uh, Stoke the Flames. Again, I don't have my other one, and I'm not really willing to uh, purchase a new one right now. And this card, Kologon. Kologon, very, very strong card for this deck, uh, mainly because the deck creates so much, so many tokens that it is crazy not to have Kologon as one of the dragons in this deck. But the most powerful dragon is actually not Kologon, it's this one. Curving out uh, Dragon Lord Ser Servant into a Regent is, I have never had one opponent recover from that. And this deck is pretty much 18 and one. And it's just a fantastic deck. At uh, the top end you have Storm Breath Dragon, which can get you out of tough, tough scenarios. Two Swamps, I believe we have, that's five. Yeah, 12 Mountains, uh, the eight Fetch Lands that you want, and two Temples of Malice. Uh, the reason I wouldn't want to go up to more two temples of malice is yeah, turn one this is a very good play, but you know turn two this is no longer a good play. And then you got your you got your Wendy's right. Uh, so the deck is extremely fun. It is like eighteen and one for matches. I have and people are like oh this deck's not eighteen one. No, it is eighteen one. Like if I wanted to make something up, I would be like this deck is a hundred and one, and then people would be like trolling me the whole time. Anyway, the deck is very good. It's incredibly fun. I haven't really lost with it. The only time I lost with it was in like a top eight. And that's because it was a little bit more competitive than normal magic. So the deck is incredibly fun and I recommend building it because it also has the ability. It's also very good because it will translate well because then that new dragon's coming. Maybe there's a goblin lord to replace Rabble Master. It's probably better burn. Burn is a little, like, not great right now. So, yeah. Bye, guys.